starting lineup for the Swindon Wildcats. Obviously, we see Neil Lydiard back there in defence. Uh, we'll check who he's partnered with in a moment. But we've got Jan Kostel, we've got Aaron Nell, and we've got Jordan Kelsall in centre for the Wildcats. We've got James Frora, Owen Griffiths, and Darius Blaskowskis as forwards for the Phantoms, looking to pick up the puck. Ben Russell's got James White with him, and Nathan Long goes out to Padalek. Padalek's got James White's ball. Huge, huge hit there. Weldon keeping hold of the puck. Shot from James White. It's loose in the puck. It's loose. There's a lot of push and shove. And a lot of push and shove. I don't know if anything is actually going to be called from that. Griffiths with Salem. Salem looking for the tip. And it's a shot! Great bit of play there. So Griffiths takes the puck over to Nathan Salem. We can see Salem bringing it in. Fakes the shot, fakes out the D-man, goes across to Owen Griffiths. The former Wildcats junior then just chips it over. And with nine minutes, 54 gone, it's Phantoms one, Wildcats nil. Nathan. Great play from Salem there, fake shot. The goalie nibbled. I mean, he's probably got one of the best shots in the league. You'd, you'd, of course, you'd buy and just laid it on a plate for Griffiths, who finished it nicely into the top corner. But I said a goal was coming, and Phantoms have answered the bell first. Yeah. Opportunity there in front of the in front of the net. It's loose. It's loose, but picked up by Sam Bullis. Padalek plays it out to Jameson. Jameson flicks it, redirected. Icing's been called. Been waved off. And it's sloppy, it bubbles around in front, Long's on it. The goal's been given. So the puck bouncing around in front of the net. It was getting a bit confused. And uh, again, Phantom sinking that's been covered, it hadn't, and the Wildcats put it away. So, at five, 25 minutes, 10 seconds gone. And it's Wildcats one, Phantoms one. Yeah, it looks like Griffiths tried to clear it. But the puck, yeah, so Kelso with the goal. It just goes there underneath, it bobbles loose. Griffiths there looking for the clearance, but the puck clearly over the line at the point. Wildcat shoots and cross the crease looking for the go, but now Phantoms break out. Salem with the puck plays at central. Billing not quite getting a stick on it, but the Phantoms maintain possession. Robbie Ferrara with the shot, it's a goal! Robbie Ferrara, glove side high. Pass came out from the back of the net. And that was the perfect reply. So here we see it again. The shot out. Robbie has the time, picks his spot, puts it glove side high. And all of a sudden, it's Phantoms 2. Wildcats 1 with 26 minutes and 9 seconds gone. Nathan, you saw the goal. What did you make of it? Great heads up from Salem. I mean, he, he delayed, tried to find Bill in about 10 seconds before. Waited patiently behind the net, got it back. Robbie Ferrara, great jump in from the blue line. Their point guy didn't pick him up, and Robbie just should put it right in the top corner. It's a great shot from him. Puck goes central, Norton with it. Loops it in. Looks like it came off the post. And then uh, Ma having to jump on it quick. Let's see if we can see that again. So, Puck comes out of the corner. Goes to Norton. Norton just holds it briefly. Takes the shot. We can see it going in. And it is. It's off the post. The pipe work saving the Wildcats from goal number three. He goes to play up. Now, Jameson. Jameson's free and clear. Zajac has gone down. And he's gone down. The arm is up. Now, Jameson had the shot. He didn't take it. And a penalty shot's been awarded. I was about to say that uh, he had control of the puck. He was fouled from behind. It was just him and the netminder. He was in control, hadn't taken the shot. He listed all the requirements for a penalty shot. And a penalty shot has been given. So, so here we go. You were saying a second ago, the next goal could be crucial. And this could be it. And it's been saved. 
I think Jameson looking there to kind of walk it under Mar and Mar just kept his head. Jameson looked to Deke and he just lost the puck. You'll see on the replay, he just literally went to pull it to his backhand and just completely lost the puck there. And he just went straight into Mar. He, didn't, he pulled a move and it didn't work out for him. And the big let off for Swindon. We'll read out your tweets. Phantoms get the puck and look to clear the zone. They don't. Beerbrag. Beerbrag there manages to steal the puck inside the zone. He was left on his own, none marked, providing some pressure. But the Wildcats again coming out with the puck. Griffiths there, back checking, not quite enough to stop Beerbrier. Now it's three on two, and it's a goal. Luke Johnson just getting the puck, just getting his stick onto the puck. It was a, almost a random deflection, but the goal is good, and it's a tied game. So here we see Beerbrier, who skated round this Phantoms player. He goes to take the shot across. Johnson's got his stick down. He doesn't even make an attempt at a shot, but just getting his stick on the puck is enough to deflect it in. Goes glove side high, and it's the tie game. It's Wildcats 2, Phantoms 2, 8.28 remaining in the third period. He goes centric to Plaskauskas, but uh, again, the Wildcats defence getting back in numbers. Going to be a tripping penalty on Owen Griffiths. James Ferrara there getting involved. It looks like it's going to get very feisty. This game has been getting physical. It looks like it was going to boil over. It's interesting that someone's been able to uh, rile James Ferrara enough to get him to react. Nothing given. Nell with the puck now goes to shoot. Blocked by Weldon. <coughs> and James Ferrara short-handed one on two. Drops it into the corner, it's going to force the Wildcats to reset their power play. Costal to Nell, Nell to Jones. And now Paddy there takes it out. High stick by Nell on Padalek. There's going to be a penalty call against it. Zajac bounces off of Padalek. It goes loose and now we have Sam Bullis. He's got Jameson. Oh. Jones there just fluffing the shot. There's going to be a boarding call. That will be a major... An absolutely ridiculous hit by Bullis on... Well, that was a, that was ridiculous. What was the point in that? It was silly, and to be honest, as I can, I, I don't think it was it was that hard. He didn't hit him that hard. It was, it was a late hit, but I think, obviously, it's, it's a stupid hit to make there. And Phantoms have got a five, five on three for the last minute of a game, and it, it, this is just going to cost, cost wind, and if Phantoms get it, it's just going to be poor discipline. And it, it's just stupid here, and I, I, I'm sure the Wildcat fans will agree with me, but a five on three in the last minute of a game is, is just silly discipline. You don't need to make those hits in the last... The guy is in the defensive zone. Norton's not going to score from there with his back to the boards, and it's just, it is just stupid. Wildcats back to four man. The puck's loose, he's bobbling. Puck's off the net. Sorry, puck's off the net. Net's off the moorings, even. Massive amount of pressure by everybody. It's built out. Wildcats have got it. They're going to look to break out. It's just a long pass now. They'll just kill the last few seconds. And we're going into overtime. He's tied up. Had a good call for a penalty, but nothing given. Goes back to Jameson. Jameson shows, scores! An even-handed goal. 42 seconds of the power of the period gone. And Lee Jameson takes his time, picks his point and fires it home. So, after 60 minutes and 42 seconds, it's Phantoms 3, Wildcats 2. And you just saw the replay of the goal there. It's played out to Jameson. Jameson stops, looks and shoots and it's home. After all the effort the Wildcats put in, this result has got to be fairly heartbreaking for them. It has, but we'll be as honest as we can. They weren't good enough periods one and two. And that's cost him a game. I think that pass there from Salem, that's the third goal he's set up tonight with a first assist, and he really has been the difference between the two teams for me tonight. From a Phantoms perspective, a great result from the Wildcats. They'll probably be happy for a point, but upset not to be taking two.